Hi, welcome back to Django Class Race Views Uncorked, I believe is what I'm calling it. I don't know why, but we're going to go with it, and we're going to have a good time. Um, so this is episode two, I believe. We're going to take a look at the differences between class-based views and function-based views. A lot of us are accustomed to a function-based view um, file like this. We have uh, kind of all these different functions that our URLs are going to point to. We're going to pass in um, primary keys or whatever we want to pass in in the query parameters. And um, we have all this code. So let's take a look. We're going to be looking at this application, or I guess Django terms is project, um, a blog project. It's very simple. We have our all of our um, all of our articles. We can open an article. We can update the article. We can delete the article. And we can create a new article. All of these fun crud. Uh, oh, I need to fix that page. Um, all of those fun crud actions. So let's take a look first at function-based views um, and how we go about that. Um, for example, on the first page where we want to get all of our articles, um, we go ahead and set this article list here, and then we add it into the context. Um, this is a very simple example. Um, and so, you know, we don't gain too much, uh, but as but you as you'll see as we build up this project and look more in depth at what it was happening, um, we can see how we will get benefits from that. Um, and so, this is the same view using class-based views. The main difference here is we don't add the articles into the context, as well as we don't even. Um, we don't even specify the query. We just give it an article. And, and by default, what this does right here, model the article, that is going to do, uh, it's the same thing as this article.objects.all. And it's that's just what it does by default. We can also do like a filter active equals true or something like that. And that will give us the list of objects that are going to be passed into um, our template. So for example, say this article is not active and we had something like this, um, we would not see that. Simply we would not see it. Um, but I don't even know if there is an active field in this. Um, we're going to leave it here for now. Um, and yeah, so essentially what this is doing is, is marking as a list view and just adding articles into the context. Uh, redirect view I think what this is doing, yeah, so redirect view is just is saying when I go to a root, we want to redirect it into blog. And so now we get into the fun stuff. Those are kind of the boring. Well, list view is, list view is pretty cool. List view can be really cool. Oh, by the way, this also has pagination built into it, um, but we'll be getting into that in a later episode. Uh, detail view, this is going to take a model instance and use that in your context. So what the hell does that mean? Um, so for instance, an article, this is the article instance, and we're using this in our context. As you can see here, um, in function based view, it's actually pretty clean as well. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get this article by the, the PK, and then we're gonna add it into the context. In class-based view, um, it's similar to the list view where we just have to specify model. Um, and it's going to automatically do article.objects.get um, id is equal to the pk that is passed in. Um, so for detail view, it's passing in this pk value, which is the id of the, the blog article. And it's automatically using that through magic, um, which we're also going to get more into later. Um, again, this is just a summary. This is just a summary um, lesson, and we're going to talk about all the details of how this works later in the next episodes. Um, cool. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that. And now we get into CRUD stuff, which is really where class-based views separates itself from, from uh, uh, function-based views. Um, okay, so first of all, the create view. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we're going to create a new article. Here's our create view. Um, 
let's okay so preview we're specifying the form class and the template and that's actually generally that's all that's kind of the most basic form the reason i have this here is because um for instance i'm not filling out who the author is but that's a required field um and so in function based view if we go and look at the same view we have all of this code here and essentially it's just this author part it's just that author part right there that we're adding in here in a hook into the form valid uh, method. Um, but if we didn't have the author field, like we would do, we would do all of this code right here uh, with it would be the same as this. So you you're uh, you're making it a lot cleaner, and um, we'll get more into this. There's like when when you don't follow the default rules of class-based views, you have to override certain things. And so this is like a hook for when the form is valid and we need to do something else, like after the form is valid, but before saving it. Um, and we'll get more into that when we talk about create views. And um, here, delete view and update view are, are great examples. Um, because here we have delete, where we have a URL we have, we're getting the article, and we're saying, hey, if you pass in a post, and we have delete in the request post data, then we want to delete it, and then we want to pass you to um, the blog home, the success URL. And class-based views, wow, look at that. That is, that is beautiful, right? That's three lines of code doing the exact same thing. Um, how does that work? Well, it's getting article, it's getting the article from the PK, similar to what we did in the detail view. And then um, it's autom actually I feel like it I feel like it would automatically have a success URL based on the absolute URL, but we will leave that there for now. Ah yeah, 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 because it's getting deleted and then we need to obviously send it to the blog home. And that's doing all of that code and update. We're doing something similar. We're getting the, the form, we're getting the the article instance, and we are getting the, we're telling it which template to use. In function based views, you would have something like this. Um, you would you would get the form and all of the stuff involved in the form, and you would get the article. You would say, hey, if this is a post request, and if it's valid, you want to do all of this stuff. And then if it's not a post request, we then it's just a get request. And so then we need to set the article to the instance of the form. And then after everything, we need to specify the template and add the form into the context. And all of that is taking care of it, up to taking care of for you in the update view. Um, so I think the next the app is pretty much this episode. Um, the next episode, we're going to be getting into the base views of class-based views, and then we're going to build upon that.